Head looking from the starboard side. Um, this is the second time it's been redone. Originally, um, I just had this cross piece on here for um, adding the anchor light and having the Windex. Uh, originally, the Windex was just mounted to the, uh, the top piece, and uh, but I wanted to put the anchor light on, so I had one of that forward and the Windex is in the, to the back, so I can see it. Um, and the VHF was just antenna was just hooked to the side of this rig here. Um, I had taken it apart and kind of like had to come up with different ways because I wanted to, um, well I guess actually say I originally had added the Static Master and the Lightning Rod. I think I bought that a long time ago. So it was only like $45 and I figured I'd give it a try. Um, we haven't been hit yet so I, I guess it's working. Um, so I had to reconfigure it so I could still have my VHF and that's where this bracket over here came out. The VHF comes out a little bit of an angle but not too much. And then I came up with a, looking from the, the bow, I had some aluminum tube from some chairs and I made a mount for the weather station. So um, everything clears each other. Even in the winds, the antenna doesn't whip over and hit the weather station so far. And there's plenty of room for the Windex to spin. That hasn't been an issue, so that it all has worked out. It, it does look very busy, I'll say, but, uh, you know, it's supposed to look like a mini cruiser, which, that's what it is. Uh, and for some reason, the weather station is working now. I replaced the batteries inside and outside and kind of just tried to blow it out. And, I don't know, the Windex is working. I mean, the... Uh, the aminometer, I never could say that word, is working again. So that's good news. Um, so that's the, the other thing I'll go down, go underneath the mast and come over. Um, originally, Skipper came with a round steaming light. Um, I replaced that with this LED light. Um, and then uh, I had added originally a deck light that was uh, incandescent. Now this has been changed out to, uh, there's just a car off-road LED light so now this was my other big draw was the, the four deck light so now um, um, this is an LED and this came in a pair and I've only the, the original one I put on is working and I just had to kind of re-rig the mounts for it to fit and it's just uh, pop riveted on through bolt here um, so and I have come in and I have replaced on my skipper the uh, brackets, these brackets were replaced, uh, that kind of had some bends in them, but, uh, and the, the covers for the shrouds were just changed this summer, this is the only second set that I've had since I've owned the boat, and then if you look down farther, I do have two whisker pole uh, mounts on there, because my head sail got larger, and I just left the original one in there, um, and reset that, you can see the running lights on this side, they've all been refitted with, uh, LEDs too, so like I said the uh, and you can see the strap that I have for that it should come up and over though. Um, but that's the pretty much the mast and masthead uh, changes, and you can see the top of the CDI roller furler, which I really love, works great. Um, and I just uh, my sail just has the sail cover that's gets pulled up over it because um, I'm using an existing sail that I had for the head sail. So, there's the 
Skipper 20 of them still holding up. It's getting a little weathered though. Um, this is the uh, the uh, hole, the through hole for the uh, the uh, manual bilge pump, and then um, this is the uh, the hole for the uh, um, interior bilge pump that I've added electric now. So that was one thing I didn't have for years. The Lazarette one just comes out down below and drains out into the Lazarette compartment where the outboard is. And I think I did say the L the stern light white has been changed to an LED too. Thank you, Jeff. Good overview look from the outside. Port side. And even though it's sideways, a little wind blowing. See what else I have on my list. Boom, it's done. It's a weather station, wind vane, anchor light, VHF antenna mount, and then that's my lightning arrestor. It's supposed to dissipate the electrical charges on the boat. So that's it. Boom. Done. Well, another thing I did mention, I have the Static Master um, Static uh, lightning arrestor. In theory, these little pieces, the uh, negative charge ions, I believe, are supposed to be dissipated off all these stainless steel pieces. Uh, it's connected through, even though it's got a plastic cover on here, so it's not rubbing against the aluminum. Um, just screwed into the mast, which in turn is connected. Uh, if you go all the way down, the connections are to my side shrouds. And I'll show you on the side of both because the uh, lightning master has to be grounded in theory for it to work. So what I have, shrouds come down on the starboard side. And I, here I have, I think it's a number six copper grounding line. It comes down, follows the rub rail underneath all the way around to the stern. Whether it's a good idea or not, it kind of comes down to my lazarette because the only bad is the gas tank is in here. Um, and there's a copper plate that it's attached to behind the motor here, which is uh, had a piece flake off. I pulled off, but it looks like it's still holding up. I'll check it for next season. Um, in theory, if it's grounded and you're dissipating the charges, I always forget if it's the negative or positive charges. That attract the lightning, the boat shouldn't really get hit. Hence, should be an issue. I know down below I do have a set of uh, lighter weight jumper cables that are stripped in half so I can attach them to each side of the shroud. Um, and then they're stripped, the copper strip, so in theory, to help ground the boat. That's the only, um, none of my electronics is grounded, so if I did, the boat did get hit, um, everything will get fried. So I'm going on the theory, I ground the boat, I don't get hit, I don't lose any electronics. And so far, um, it has worked. Um, at the dock, haven't been out many thunderstorms in the bay. I think really the, the really bad one we had when we were in, down in Marathon in 2016, we had a wicked storm come over us enough where we anchored up and just let it roll over us um, as it, after it ran us, ran us over. <laughs> coming under the seven mile bridge um, so but so far I said that works and I've had that on the boat I think from like the fourth year third or fourth year um, the lightning master was installed or static master I forget exactly what it's called I think they're close to a hundred dollars now I think I paid less than 50 for mine <laughs>